Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. This is Tom Fox again. I'd like to tell you about an exciting new tool, the NordLocker Business. NordLocker Business is an encrypted cloud storage platform for storing, sharing, and managing business data securely. Developed by cybersecurity experts, it ensures business files can be accessed anywhere and anytime, but only by authorized parties. NordLocker Business allows you to create a highly secure work environment where you can safely store sensitive data and share it with members of your organization and your business partners. Using the platform significantly improves your company's cybersecurity, no matter the industry or the size of your business. The product is a tool that can help you prevent data breaches and avoid unwanted data exposure. NordLocker Business is compliant with ISO 27001. It's HIPAA compliant and GDPR compliant. For more information, go to nordlocker.com backslash creators and use promo code CPN. I know you will find it a great tool. The Daily Compliance News for July 14, 2023, the letter to the editor edition. And we begin with that story because our first story is... A literally a letter to the editor in the Financial Times. And uh, Professor Robert Barrington, uh, who is a professor at the University of Sussex in Brighton in the United Kingdom in the Center for the Study of Corruption, challenges the UK's uh, money laundering regime, which he says is, quote, not fit for purpose. And in the absence of reform, one must question whether it is a regime worth having at all. And his criticism is the failure of the United Kingdom to put uh, persons who are at risk or uh, are should be on the bad guy list on the bad guy list, particularly around UK politicians. So he asked that uh, the UK really work to design uh, an anti-money laundering program that seriously Uh, combats organized crime, terrorism, and corruption. I'm not quite sure what more you can ask than that of a government. Also from the Financial Times, in uh, a really great story, Pratik Gupta, the businessman that uh, has been accused of a $590 million nickel fraud, says that actually it was the customers who proposed the fraud and that uh, employees of a company called Trifigura um, presented the potential for uh, the proposed fraud to him and really that they asked for it. So where have you ever heard that defense before um, that the customer asked for it? Uh, next up um, from the New York Times, there is a looming set of U.S. Restrictions on companies involved in quantum computing, computing, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors on doing business with um, Chinese companies. This has uh, long been under discussion, and the New York Times article focuses on the political um, implications of this, but uh, you really need to think about this from the risk management perspective. Are you, uh, first of all, in the direct line of doing business with Chinese companies, And if this goes through, you can expect a Chinese company tit-for-tat response. So how are you going to respond if you're doing business literally at all uh, with China right now? And our final story comes to us from the Wall Street Journal, which reports that uh, the idiot magma hat-wearing House members are now going to investigate the FTC for doing exactly, exactly what they wanted, which was more oversight over big tech. Republicans at their finest. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.